Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 24th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. I just cut the deck. I cut it to the Emperor and the Ten of Cups reversed. So the Emperor is about taking charge, right? It's about structure and organization and decision. So making a decision to get organized, to take charge of something. So this is a very masculine energy, but we have the Ten of Cups reversed. Now this may have to do with dreams or it has to do with, it, with a relationship. We could have the end of a relationship here with the Ten of Cups reversed. This is not happy, not in a peaceful place. It could be some stormy weather, right? Um, it feels like we have a relationship that may not be on the same page. Now, I'm not sure what this relationship is with. You know, we have relationships with all kinds of people, but we also have relationships with things okay so there is a relationship that is not on the same page okay so this is the probably uh there's some sort of adjustment that is needed um it's an unhealthy relationship put it that way um not happy emperor takes charge you know to find to find that happiness so somebody may be taking charge. They, they're obviously in a relationship that, you know, is not happy. It's not a happy thing. It's it's uh, dark. It's uh, stormy. Things are upside down. Um, so this is making a decision to take control. So somebody is gonna is making, and it's a big decision. This is a person that isn't in a, in a position to make the decision that is in charge. I mean, this is, you're the boss of your happiness, right? So this is somebody that's going to be taking charge. Could be an Aries, doesn't have to be. Um, it's like, this is somebody that is ready. Okay, they're ready. They're ready to take charge and get organized and do whatever they have to do. What do we have for a message today? Mm. Ace of Pentacles. So this is a new beginning. It is a new investment. This is a golden opportunity. Somebody is receiving a golden opportunity or they're taking a golden opportunity. This is something solid. It is a gift. It is a gift from above. It's a gift of prosperity and abundance. Somebody's going to be receiving a gift or they're going to be giving a gift. There's been some problems, but I feel like those problems are going to be coming to an end. This is going down a new path. Um, building financial security. taking an opportunity somebody may even be getting an offer I don't know if it, it could be even from a bank but this whatever it doesn't have to be a bank whatever this is it's a new investment that leads to it can lead to long-term abundance it can lead to long-term permanent it's something permanent it's something you can hold on to it's something you can take to the bank or you can put in the bank or it involves a bank, you know, or, or it involves money and security and stability. So taking charge, somebody maybe even taking taking charge of their banks, you know, their their money, taking charge of their accounts, investing in something new. Could be buying something new, or receiving something new, or just taking a new opportunity. Eight of Wands reversed. Now the Eight of Wands reversed is blocked, you know. Let's get another card. It's not good news. There's been some sort of blocked prosperity or blocked success. It's right next to that Ace of Pentacles. It's like there's been delay. There's been a delay in receiving this or a delay in taking it. 
lack of communication. Somebody hasn't been communicating, they haven't been moving, they've been stuck, they've been stagnant. Page of Cups. Now the Page of Cups is welcome news. Unexpected welcome news is coming. Somebody is going to be expressing feelings. They probably haven't been communicating. They've been blocking their emotions, blocking their feelings. Um, they may ha even have a self-image problem. But there's going to be an expression. There's going to be an expression. Somebody is going to be, I feel like they're going to be stepping it up. They're going to be doing something. Could be spontaneous. There's some good news that is coming. There is. And there's some sort of acceptance here. I mean, the Ace of Pentacles is a yes answer. This is somebody has manifested a new opportunity. It could be a new opportunity for love, whatever it is. There's, there, I feel like there's been a lack of communication or a lack of movement, but there's feelings. And I feel like there's going to be an expression or there's going to be communication after there hasn't been. There's definitely a new investment here after there's been a delay. Somebody's intuition is also telling them something. It's like they've been ignoring the messages. They've been ignoring their intuition. They've been ignoring their feelings. But there's going to be, I feel like there's going to be some movement. Ooh, underneath the Ace of Pentacles. Three of Swords, we got somebody here that is, is suffering. They're suffering, it's like this hurts, they're in some sort of pain. You know, this is grieving, this is, this is heartache, grief, suffering, pain. Uh, oh my God, oh my God, this hurts, it hurts. I don't know if there's been a rejection, there could even be a painful separation. You know, somebody is definitely suffering with the Three of Swords, this is a loss. We've blocked heart too. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that has some heart problems. I just gotta be honest. I mean, the Eight of Wands reverse is some sort of block and the, the Page of Cups is heart. So I'm not sure if it's just blocked feelings or what, but we have heart here. So somebody has some heart problems, whether it's a blocked emotions or it's a blocked heart, uh, something, valve, <laughs> you know, I don't know. Um, but we do have somebody here that is suffering, they're grieving, um, they're in some sort of pain. Three of Cups reversed because somebody has parted ways They've parted ways. They've stopped communicating. There's a third party or something like that that has been involved. This is this is definitely not happy. Not happy at all. There's could also be some gossip, you know, some or people. There's ganging up, you know. I feel like we have somebody here that is really, really suffering. Uh, definitely, it's right next to the Three of Cups on the other. I mean, the Three of Swords. It's right on the other side. So we have somebody here that is very unhappy they're in a heart it's heartbreaking this is heartbreaking uh, parting ways parting ways from a relationship from friends or family there's a lack of emotional support it's like there's people working against each other there's no respect there's a lot of gossip that's what's causing all this pain. It's like there's there's no emotional support here. There's, this is these are not my people. It's like they don't support me. They don't support me, and it hurts. So it's interesting. So there's definitely parting of ways, dashed expectations, nothing to celebrate, no joy, no happiness. 
the party is over. This party is over. The honeymoon is over, right? This is this this is it. It's okay. Uh, so there is there is some sort of well, we have somebody that is going down a new path. Okay, they're taking an opportunity. They are. They're parting ways from people that have caused them a lot of pain and there's more than one person it's like it's a it's a, at least three people it's like three people that have been ganging up on them you know leaving behind leaving behind some some people so somebody's leaving behind some people that you know, it might have been fun for a little while, but this isn't fun anymore. It's not fun. Oh my goodness gracious. Sun card reverse, not happy at all. Now this is loneliness due to disillusionment. There's also some poor health here. There's depression, there's false impressions. Uh, there's darkness, there's a lack of clarity, there's a lack of growth. Again, with the Three of Cups reversed as well, there's a lack of growth. We have somebody here there's a, that is in a relationship that is not on the same page. There's, it's, really, it's really a dark relationship. There's, they're, and they're refusing to or they're choosing not to, I believe, see things clearly. It's like blocking, blocking, blocking the light in the dark. Somebody's been choosing to suffer. Um, anyhow, sun reverse, something to do with a child as well. Uh, talking, uh, somebody, somebody's talking, they're saying something that isn't true. It's causing a lot of pain. It may have something to do with children or a child or something like that. Um, Definitely unhappy. We have an unhappy camper here. Um, poor health, depressed. Not happy. Mm -mm. It's not happy at all. Somebody's really not happy. They're in a lot of pain. We have a painful separation here. Oh my God. Oh my God. There could be some bad news. So there could be, but typically the Page of Cups is good news, but I mean, there's definitely some news. There's some news that is coming. It, I, I'm not sure it's good news, just being honest. I don't, I don't know. But there is disillusionment here. You know, some people only want to hear the good news, right? At some point, some of the people clicked off at that moment, okay? It's like, I don't want to hear the bad news, so see ya. You don't want to, if you want to live in the dark, then hey. This reading is definitely for you. Anyhow, um, loneliness due to disillusionment. Somebody is in a situation that is very, very painful, you know, and they need to part ways. They need to follow their heart. They need to stop. They need to go no contact. They need to block, you know, the person that is hurting them so much and go down another path for the people that are hurting them. Even though it's painful, you know, we have somebody here that's distraught, you know, they're distraught because of all the talk that's going on. But if you engage, then you choose. I mean, you can choose to go down another path anyway. I do believe that there is, I feel like there's there's a lot of talk, there's a lot of gossip, there's people talking and it's causing despair. Eight of Cups, whew. Now the Eight of Cups is goodbye, okay? This is a necessary alteration, I have to go. There's emotional disappointment here, leaving. Leaving a situation, somebody's leaving. 
you know, there's no happiness. There isn't. This, it's like they've made their choice. It's time to go. It's time to go after wish fulfillment, right? It's, I want to have more than this. I want more than this. So I do believe that we have somebody that's getting real because the Ace of Pentacles is a reality check. It really is. Somebody's getting real, okay? They're, they're deciding to go down a new path. They may be securing a new opportunity. You know, they just may, may be like, you know, I got to take this new opportunity because there's no happiness where I'm at. Anyhow, the Eight of Cups is goodbye, okay? There's disappointment here, leaving, saying goodbye. So somebody is saying goodbye. They're leaving, they're leaving. They're going to be facing challenges. They're ready to face the challenge. They're ready to... Uh, do whatever it takes to have that happiness. So it's interesting, those first two cards. Saying goodbye to something. Now, I don't know what it is, but it, it, I mean, it could be an addiction or it's something that has been, uh, it's a relationship with either people or a codependent situation. It could be addiction. This is saying goodbye. Uh, parting ways. Ready, 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 ready to face the hurdles, ready to face the challenges. Ready for wish fulfillment. Ready. So we do have somebody here that's ready. They're in, a, they're in some sort of relationship that is not bringing them the happiness that they desire. They've been in their feelings and their intuition is telling them, you know, to follow their heart and take the new opportunity. Or to go. I mean, that Eight of Cups is goodbye. Okay, it's going. It's going. Could be dealing with a King of Wands. Doesn't have to be, but this, well, it is King of Wands. It's somebody, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Leo here. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I also feel like we have somebody here that is very, very wishy-washy. This person may, you know, be in their feelings a lot. You know, they may say, I love you, but their actions don't match up to their words. Somebody's going to be delivering some news. They may be saying that they're leaving or that somebody has left. They've parted ways, or they're parting ways. There's no healing here. And there's something to do with a child. So I don't know if this is if there's lies or what. There's something to do with a child here. Oh my God. Oh my God. I also feel like there's something to do with drinking. So I'm not sure if we have somebody here that has a drinking problem. Um, but anyhow... Um, Failure to launch, not having success, angry, upset. We have somebody here that is angry, they're upset, they're, they've been, uh, this is like powerless, feeling powerless. They've, there's some sort of disrespect here, there's disrespect, there's um, strong control. I feel like we have somebody here that's angry. There's some sort of uh, something is off. Something is off. Somebody has been repeating negative patterns. They've went overboard, you know, 
there's excess, there's extremes. Somebody's in a in an unbalanced situation. There's definitely some action that is going to be taken. So this person that has been not taking any action, maybe because of fear. I'm going back to the King of Wands reverse. Maybe because they didn't have the self-confidence or the self-esteem or they were held back by fear. I feel like there's there's going to there's some sort of change, okay? This is somebody that is willing to do whatever it takes to bring success. And if that means letting go of the old to bring in the new because that's what the magician does. And this is manifestation as above, so below. So I feel like we have somebody here that has manifested a new opportunity. They're going to be taking it. They're going to be taking a new opportunity. This is a golden opportunity. There's a golden opportunity. And it's a masculine energy because the, the emperor is masculine. The king of wands is masculine. And so isn't the um, magician. So this is taking action. So there is some somebody that's about to do something to bring success. This is somebody that is very, very skilled. They have a divine connection to source. And it's like source is telling them you have the resources. And this person is going to be using their resources. They're going to be finding their inner resources to take action. This is like accepting the truth, being practical, being logical, following the heart. So somebody's going to be doing something, you know, using those resources, using their uh, needs, you know. Or assessing. It's like accessing that's what I meant to say accessing their their uh, inner resources to make a change so somebody's in and, and to bring success this is somebody that is very skilled and can be successful and they know they can be successful this is highly confident this is a card of faith as well so I feel like we have somebody here that is going to be replacing their fear with faith and they're gonna be breaking free from a situation that hasn't been you know, it's been causing them a lot of pain, right? This is taking action right now. This is a yes answer. And so isn't the ace of pentacles. So yes, I want it. Yes, I'll take it. Yes, this is what you asked for. This is what you asked for. Maybe they're just getting a pit an epiphany. They're getting an epiphany that this is what I asked for and going for it. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is I'm going to do it. So this is definitely a doer. Somebody's about to do something, right? I mean, that's what this is. This is also uh, becoming aware, very aware, very aware. Somebody may be very aware of, of a connection or very aware of what they can do or very aware of an opportunity. It's like, I got I know that this is a golden opportunity. So somebody is going to be taking an opportunity and it feels like they just become aware. They come, oh yes, I can, oh yes, oh yes. There's been a lack of acceptance where they're at. They've been in a dark, depressed state of mind, suffering. There's been a lack of faith. There's been a lack of... Well, there's been disillusionment with that sun card reverse. That's disillusionment. But there's truth. This is like because of the Ace of Swords that's in this card. This is like accepting the truth, seeing the truth, and being intuitively guided probably by from Source, you know, to be practical and to take the golden opportunity. This is exciting. Just go for it. So I do believe that we have somebody here that is going to be taking charge. They're going to be taking charge and they're saying goodbye to something that has caused them a lot of suffering. Okay, the Three of Swords has caused them a lot of grief. It does have to do with people. Okay, so that Three of Cups reverse. It does have to do with some people. Maybe these people have given bad advice. Like these could be enemies disguised as friends. It could be, it could be family that doesn't really support you. 
could be co-workers. Anyway, it feels like there's a gang up. There's several people here that, you know, don't support. You know, and they've caused a lot of turmoil. They've caused a lot of pain. They've caused a lot of suffering. This is saying goodbye. Saying goodbye to that group. Saying goodbye to that those people, you know, and going in a new direction. Could be dealing with a Gemini as well. There's romance in the air here as well. I just focused on the roses. And then we have the Page of Cups. Somebody maybe, you know, maybe they have a new love or they have a new opportunity for love. And they're taking that opportunity for love and the people around them don't like it, you know. Or they've been trying to stop them or block them or whatever. We all make up our own mind anyway. So anyhow, I do believe we have somebody here that's going to be taking action because they're becoming aware. And I feel like the seed has already been planted and now things are starting to grow and it's been dark. There's been no growth. I feel like we have somebody here that is taking an opportunity that they may have blocked or they may have neglected or they didn't there's been some sort of delay because they're in, I feel like they were in a broken relationship that they couldn't separate from but I do see a separation here 